Hi, my name is Jared Casey and I'm an application engineer at Texas Instruments. I'm here today to put the rest of the misconception that in order to begin fuel gauging, you have to go through a long and complicated process. Here at TI, we have many fuel gauges that provide all the benefits of the industry's best gauging algorithm, our patented impedance track algorithm, yet these gauges are tailored in order to enable a quick ramp to production. The BQ27421 is one of those devices, and today I'll demonstrate with the use of Gauge Studio how you can quickly configure your gauge and begin the gauging process. You can find Gauge Studio at the following link um, at the link below. And now I will launch the Gauge Studio software tool on the PC. It's something I've already downloaded and gone through the installation process. Um, there are three main connections that you want to be you want to make sure that you have done correctly. Um, the first one is you want to make sure that you have your battery. And you want to make sure that it's connected properly to the, the gauge EVM. Typically this is going to be between the PAC plus and the PAC minus connection. The next connection you want to look to make sure that you have done correctly is the I2C bus on the EVM. You want to make sure that it's connected to your EV23 or EV2400. And you want to make sure that you have it in the correct I2C port. The third connection is going to be from the EV23 or EV2400 to your PC. So you just want to make sure that you have the USB port on both the, the EV23-2400 and the PC connected properly. Once you have all those connections and you launch the Gauge Studio tool, you will see the window that I am showing now. On the left side of the window, you have our Gauge dashboard. Um, this will show what device is connected between the EVM or Gauge that you're testing and the PC. Um, this happens to be the EV2400 in this case. It will show the device that's connected, which in this case we're using the BQ27421 G1A. You also see a graphic that displays voltage, state of charge, and also an ammeter. As you can see right now, the ammeter is grayed out, and that's simply because we do not have any current flowing. Um, over in the next window, what we call our watch window, you'll see just basic data RAM parameters, and the data RAM parameters are information that's um, being provided from the fuel gauge. We are simply just showing voltage, temperature, average current, and state of charge. So that's just a basic overview of Gauge um, Studio. So let's go through the configuration process. Um, up at the top, I will go to the Project tab, and then I will click on the New so that we can start a new project, and it's going to prompt me for a name for the project. So let's call this the BQ27421, and we'll call it Setup. And then I can click on Save, and after the save, has completed, you will see that below the watch window, our project dashboard will start up. Um, for this demonstration, let's go to the simple project because we just we want to get um, moving quickly. So you'll see that after you click on the simple project, you'll have three tabs that pop up in the project dashboard. You have the setup tab, the parameter, Q&A, and the golden image. Um, the setup tab we can leave as is because it already has a project name and we can move forward with that. Let's go to the parameter Q&A tab. And you'll see a start button, so let's click on the start button. And you'll notice that next to the watch window, the parameter Q&A tab will open with another tab called Quick Configuration. In this Quick Configuration tab, we have three parameters that we want to update. Um, the first one will be design capacity, and that's just the capacity of the cell that we have connected. In this case, I have a 1700 milliamp hour cell, so I'll enter that. And then the next one will be what we call taper current. And taper current is when the, your charger that you have in your system, when will that stop charging? So in this case, I will do 50 milliamps. And then the final parameter is what we call terminate voltage. And that's the voltage to which you want the gauge to report 0% state of charge. And in this case, I will change it to 3 volts or 3,000. Once I'm done entering all of those parameters, I will then go to the Save to Gauge button up at the top and click. At this point, the Gauge Studio is updating the fuel gauge. It's um, configuring it how we, with the, the parameters that we just entered. And at this point, I'm done. The configuration process is complete. I can now move forward with evaluation, some basic testing with the EVM. However, in order to take it one step further, we will help you out in your production environment or maybe in system later on. And you'll notice that in the project dashboard that the parameter Q&A tab now has a green check mark. And the golden image tab is what is highlighted now. So let's go and click on the Start button there, and you'll notice that up at the top now, you'll have the Golden Image tab. That's just looking for an output directory and a file name for this Golden Image that we will provide. So I will leave it at the basic defaults, so just BQ27421 G1A, and it's um, underscored with the version firmware version. So let me click on the Create Image Files, and this is now complete, and you can see in the project dashboard, I have check marks on all my tabs. 
So at this point, we've gone through the configuration process, and we've also exported a file that the system can use or that can be used in a production environment. Um, so now let's go back to the watch window. I can connect a load to my EVM, turn my load on, and you will see that now the average current is reporting around 500 milliamps, which is what I have set my load to. And the ammeter on the project dashboard is now um, highlighted, and you can see that it's also reporting about 500 milliamps. Um, at this point, we've um, finished the configuration process, and we can show that if you were to hang out for a while, you would see the state of charge continue to track down to where you hit 3 volts, which is what we set as our terminate voltage. Um, you'll see now on the screen just our quick start guide with Gauge Studio. It's just going to be the step-by-step -step process that I just um, demonstrated here today. And you can find um, more information about the quick start process in Gauge Studio at the link below or the URL below. Um, and that is, that is it. Thanks for watching.